Okay, hey guys. Um, from the title of this video, you're probably already going to know what I'm going to talk about here. But um, I've been seeing in the news for the last few months here, as well as hearing it on the radio. I just heard it not that long ago while I was opening this field up. And a few other places, all the lawsuits against um, Monsanto are now Dow over, um, well, Roundup. Well, there's a few things that are wrong with how they've um, gone about that. First off, I'm not saying any of the people who have cancer don't have cancer. I'm sure that they probably do have a legitimate claim that they have cancer. But the type of cancer they have is lymphoma. And according to doctors, there's no um, one thing that causes lymphoma. There's no evidence that backs up that says it is Roundup or anything else for that matter. That's one thing doctors don't know yet. And I'm not saying that it couldn't, but as of right now, they're awarding these sums of money to um, these people that are claiming it. There's no actual evidence or facts behind it to say that. Now, I've done a little bit of looking into this since, um, since it started going on. And the big thing is, um, Roundup is actually a very safe chemical. I mean, we go through hundreds of gallons of it a year here, um, you know, corn and bean farming and stuff like that. So Roundup is by no means a dangerous chemical. It's a chemical, but it's not nearly as, as uh, bad as some of the other stuff that we spray. There are a lot um, more potent chemicals out there and stuff that's harder to get. And the way it is right now, um, you can go buy Roundup at Walmart, any you know, Home Home Depot, any other hardware store like that, you can go pick up Roundup off the shelf. Well, that's all great, but for us, we need to actually have a chemical applicator's license. I personally have one, and what that allows us to do, it allows us to go and buy uh, restricted use chemicals, and we end up spraying a lot of restricted use chemicals, so we need to have one. But it's saying quite a bit that they allow you know, everybody to go out and buy Roundup at Walmart without any kind of formal training or anything like that. So it's a fairly safe chemical. Um, and another note on that subject is Roundup, uh, the term that, the, the kind of Roundup that we use is actually called Power Max. And the main active ingredient in Roundup, which is actually what kills it, Roundup is just a trade name, the active ingredient is glyphosate. Well, glyphosate, is 58 point eight or no 48 point eight percent is what we have in our glyphosate shuttles on our tender trailer what you can buy in the store in those little jugs or the pre-mixed up your concentrates about two percent so that's you know a good 40 percent less than the concentrate that we're handling out here and so you're basically handling a more diluted down form of it so um, yeah, it's not as dangerous as what we're handling out here, and what we're handling is by no means dangerous either. But to keep going on that topic there of how it is, how dangerous it is, and you can read the label on the bottle too. On all these chemicals that we buy, there is a label that comes with it that is mandated by the government that these chemicals all have to have on it. Well, the label gives you all the information you need to use with it, such as what PPE you need, which is personal protective equipment. And I don't, I can't remember right offhand, but I'm pretty sure the Roundup label, it calls for pretty much what everything else does as well. It calls for rubber gloves that cannot be penetrated by water. It's long sleeves, long pants, and it is eyewear. So that's what you're supposed to have every time you handle it. And I know a lot of these people that have been making the claims on it are gardeners or um, along those lines. Now have they been using the correct uh, personal protective equipment? That I don't know. I know when we load our when we load our sprayers, we've got a tender trailer set up so we actually don't have to handle it so we because we don't have PBE all the time. So our tender trailer mixes it in, but any time that we have to actually handle it, we're using gloves and uh, uh, eyewear and all that stuff to be safe with the chemicals and that's just goes with any kind of chemical you're dealing with you should always be safe with it um, all 
Okay, so back on to another note here. I know a lot of people that are against Roundup, they love claiming that us farmers, we, we absolutely love Monsanto. Well, that is um, stretching the truth to say the least. Now, the way it is, we have to deal with Monsanto. It's hard to get around dealing with Monsanto, and that's, I'll put some of the blame on the government here because we're getting more to a monopoly in the ag business here. Monsanto owns, well Monsanto or Dow, Dow bought out Monsanto now, but they own a lot of the traits and stuff that we use in our corn. Like right now we're actually planting soybeans out here. Our soybeans have uh, Monsanto trademarks on them. So it's hard to get around it without going all the way back to conventional beans and stuff where you don't have to have the tech agreements and stuff like that. And for one, most farmers, I, I won't say, uh, there's a strong dislike to Monsanto because the tech fees on this stuff are so high. I mean, a bag of corn now, you can go anywhere from 300 up to, you know, 350 bucks for a bag of corn. A bag of corn will plant uh, about two point whatever acres, depending on what your population is gonna be. But I mean, you're close to, uh, you're over $100 an acre in seed cost. When back in the day, the seed cost never used to be anywhere close to that. But that's where they're making their profit at is off of that. So, no, as farmers, we don't worship Monsanto. But they do have a lot of the technology that we need and use to be successful here uh, farming. On another subject here, what we've got with uh, these chemicals the way they are, if something causes cancer, you're generally not going to want to do it. Like, uh, let's take for instance smoking. We know, backed up by facts, that smoking does lead to lung cancer. My grandfather actually died from uh, lung cancer and he smoked ever since he was like 10. So that's one thing. You're not, you don't, I guess most people aren't going to willingly use something that they know that is going to cause them cancer. And that's the way it is out here with uh, our operation and stuff like that. There's, I, I graduated from uh, college with an ag engineering degree, so I like using facts. Well, the fact is there's no evidence that can back up any of the claims against Roundup at this point. There's been, geez, thousands of studies. I think last time I looked there was six or 8,000 studies done by different organizations and governments, you know, the FDA, the European Union, all this other stuff. And not one of them has, uh, linked Roundup is a human carcinogen, which is something that, uh, to put it in an easier term, something that can harm you. They have not listed it as a human carcinogen. And I know there is one organization, I can't remember what it is offhand, they've done a study, but their study is biased based on the type of organization they are. They're basing that on saying Roundup does have cancer on no evidence to back it up, unfortunately. And unfortunately, that's the way things have gotten in our society where they can make claims and it can end up being, they can count it as whatever they want and people will believe it. And that's the bad thing. So that's why I'm kind of doing this to give you more of a perspective of someone who actually uses it. I just sprayed it this morning and someone who is actually more affected by it than the people who maybe spray a couple gallons of it a year because we go through hundreds of gallons a year out here but on to the, i have one more subject that i want to talk about here and it was actually brought to my attention not that long ago actually i was uh, talking to someone and they said oh well, i spray roundup on my grass at home to kill weeds and it doesn't kill my grass and i go wait a second if you're spraying Roundup, you're definitely going to kill your grass because Roundup, active ingredient, is glyphosate and that's the sole purpose of, well, I guess I shouldn't say, at the time when it came out in the 80s, Roundup killed about everything. Nowadays, basically what it is, Roundup is more or less a grass killer. There's so many weeds that are resistant to Roundup at this time that, well, you probably wouldn't even need to throw it in the mix. You can use something else as a grass killer. <laughs> But with how cheap Roundup is, we throw it into our uh, tank mixes just to use as purely a grass killer, and that's all it does. But 
back to what I was saying, they claim that they were using Roundup on their lawn and not killing their grass. And I go, well, that's not true. And they showed me what they were using. And I looked at it, and from what I saw, of course, it says Roundup Ready for lawns, and uh, I can't remember what else the bottle said, but it was Roundup Ready for your lawn. So what I did, I ended up going down back, and I looked at the, uh, I had to look at the uh, label on the bottle to see what the active ingredient in uh, that Roundup was. And the active ingredient, actually, in that bottle, even though it had the name Roundup on it, the active ingredients were 2,4-D, which is a broadleaf killer in grass, and dicamba was also in the mixture of the active ingredients in there. Those were the two active ingredients. No glyphosate at all, even though they were referring to it as Roundup for your lawn. So I did a little more research into it, and I found out that actually, I believe it is Scott's, owns the name, well, I guess it shouldn't be owned, but Round or Monsanto licensed them out so they can use Roundup on their product name, even though it's not Roundup. So that makes me question, well, what exactly are these people spraying out in California where, some of the, where I guess all these claims are coming from? Are they spraying actual glyphosate, which we all know is Roundup, or are they spraying the Roundup for your lawns that contains 2,4-D and dicamba? I don't know. That is something that is, I have not found in my research and I have not actually heard. So they could be spraying a completely different chemical that's Roundup, or that glyphosate, sorry, but it has Roundup as the trade name on it. So that's another uh, part of this topic that could get a little tricky. And like I said, I'm I spray Roundup all the time. I've sprayed it here this spring when we were spraying burn down and pre-emerge on everything, and I will spray it again when the crop comes up. So I'm not too worried about it. I actually have a real good friend here, and we rent land from him, who is actually a doctor. He sprays Roundup all the time. So like I said, it's, it's hit or miss on what you believe, but all the facts basically state that Roundup is a fairly safe chemical. I mean, if you go and look under your sink, I'm assuming most of you keep your chemicals under your sink at home, a lot of that stuff under your sink is a lot stronger and can have worse health effects on you than uh, glyphosate can. And that's, that goes for anything. I mean, I drink a lot of pop. I know it's not good for you. Energy drinks, all that stuff. This stuff is actually probably worse for your health than Roundup is. And I know I've done some looking into, such as the LD50 on stuff, and Roundup is pretty low on the list when you look, uh, salt is up there, what it'll kill you after so many uh, doses and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's basically what you want to believe, but from my research and all I've looked into it, I am going to keep, uh, keep spraying it because I've seen no evidence to the contrary. Now, given that if someone actually comes out with a study where they're saying Roundup is linked to cancer and they can actually prove it with evidence, I would probably quit using it. I mean, I'm not in the business here to give myself cancer <coughs> or anyone here who works for us cancer. That's just not what, that's one of the reasons I don't smoke. I don't want to, I don't, I saw what my grandpa went through when he uh, died of lung cancer and I did not want to put myself through that. And on top of that, smoking is just kind of nasty to begin with anyways. But like I said, if, if, if someone can prove to me that it's actually going to be harmful to your health, I would really consider not using it. I mean, we're, we're uh, people just like everyone else here who don't want to get sick from stuff and all that. So, but yeah, that's about all I got here. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I'm just trying to get some information out. I know a lot of people aren't, uh, aren't in ag or aren't ag related and they don't know the ins and outs of this stuff, but this is what we do all day, every day. So. We've done our research into it. Um, you're more than welcome to do your own research into it. And uh, if you want to comment on this or if you want to ask questions or 
whatever, I can uh, do some follow-up to this, I guess. Uh, answer some questions if you have any. And um, I guess uh, thanks for watching here. I'm going to get back to uh, watching my tractor drive itself and the planter plant beans here so I don't screw anything up.